This last next one. God, that sounded so songwritery. Hmm. Such a cliche. This next one I read all the time. Thank you. Because I think you know all of the thoughts in my head. No, you don't. <laughs> um, all right. So, a couple albums ago, I wrote a, a song as a tribute to all the people that have shown up for me in my life when I really needed them. One of those people is Tim Hogan, who is running around here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if you guys have been to my concerts, especially some of you guys that came to talk to me before the show who were at shows in like 2004 when I was performing at Barnes & Noble or Borders or something, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. Where was I? Borders. 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 Yeah. Um, you know, it was like I just signed a record deal. They weren't sure if I was... I don't know, they'd already, <laughs> the deal was done, so I guess it was too late for them. But they were trying to, <laughs> but they were trying to see if I was worth it, I guess. So I was just playing little places to kind of, you know, get on my feet and so they could figure out where I fit. And, and uh, from that time all the way through to now, through, through the crazy years and through the calm years and through the, and we're glad you're back, which happens every time I go on tour, which happens, I'm on tour like once a month or every two months and every time I come back on tour, which is still the tour, you know what I mean? But somebody says, oh my god, I'm so glad you're back. Like, I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> so apparently I die in between tours and albums. But at least people are like, hey, we're glad you're back, instead of like, nah, fuck you again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to get better with that. Um, anyway, what was I going with that? Oh, so through this whole process of, of life and reinventions and, you know, figuring out who I am as an adult. Tim Hogan has been there as my tour manager and my bass player when I have a full band. And um, so there were some really key moments in my life that I think are so important to share. And I hope you guys have somebody in your life that's that way. Um, one of them was that as a, as a teenager and as a young woman, it was very hard to be taken seriously in the music industry, which is still very male dominant and, and really just as bad as everyone thinks. And, um, and I was surrounded by really unhealthy people at the time. And I didn't like to talk to my band because I was afraid of them because they were all older than me and had more experience. So I used to follow Timmy around because at least he didn't bug me or say anything rude. And um, he said I used to follow him at a block distance behind him. <laughs> um, but I would follow him everywhere. And so one day we were in a Starbucks and I was far behind him in line. And he, turned, and he turned around and he said, come here. And I was like, oh God, not you too, are you a weirdo? And he had, he had parted his hair out of his eyes because he had his hair in his face. And, um, and he says, I need to tell you something. He said, I need you to know that you're the boss, and I know you're young, and I know you're a woman, and people are going to try and talk down to you because of that. But you're in charge. This is your career. These are your songs. You wrote them. You sing them. You're in control. I don't have to deal with these people. And that changed everything for me. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, it takes some names. Tim Hogan will also be out hawking merch after the show. If you like to buy something, to get, get some gas money to get home. <laughs> um, anyway, so I so appreciate people that have shown up for me like that in my life. And uh, I wrote a song that went on a few, two or three albums ago that um, is for them. It's a pop song. But I like it. <laughs> it's called All on My Own. Mm -hmm. 